Hello everyone and welcome to my German language course. In this video I will show you how to decline German adjectives when they are not preceded by any articles. So here you see the endings for those adjectives that have no articles in front of them. So now I use this column which I used before for indirect articles. This time for no articles. So no A means no articles. Alright? And as you can see here, in these columns, the endings are the same like for the indirect articles. These three ones here in blue are different, but this time additionally, also the endings in the dative case and in the genitive case and in the plural are different for no articles in comparison to definite articles. They are E, 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 N, E, R, E, M, E, R, E, M, E, R. So try to memorize these endings here in this table. And I will give you now some example sentences in order for you to practice the usage of these endings, alright? So let's take this sentence. White chocolate is tasty. Tasty means in German lecker. Chocolate means schokolade and is a feminine noun. And as you learned in my lesson about German colors, white means in German weiss. So now you should be able to translate this sentence. How do you start? By looking for the subject of the sentence, which is the white chocolate. So the white chocolate is in the nominative case. Now we can start to translate the sentence. How would you do it? This is how it should look. Weiß Schokolade ist lecker. And as you can see here, something is missing. The ending for the adjective white, which means weiß in German. And we need to look now for the ending. So do you remember the ending? I will show you the table again. So here it is. Now where would you look for the ending? Here. So the sentence reads correctly. Weiße Schokolade ist lecker. Now let's try this one. Tasty chocolate is white. Again let's try to look which one is the subject of the sentence. It's still the chocolate. So again the chocolate is in the nominative case. But this time it's the adjective tasty which has to be declined. And remember tasty means lecker. So how would you start your translation? Like this. Lecker Schokolade ist weiß. And if you remember from before, the ending again is E. Because the chocolate is still in nominative case and it's still feminine. So we need to look at the same place for the ending. And the sentence reads correctly. Leckere Schokolade ist weiß. So let's try this one here. I love white chocolate. In which case is white chocolate now? White chocolate is now in the accusative case because after the verb love follows the accusative case. So this means white chocolate is now the direct object of the sentence and I is the subject of the sentence. So I is in the nominative case and as I said white chocolate is now in the accusative case. So the translation starts like this. Ich liebe weiß Schokolade. So do you know where we have to look now for the ending of weiß? I will show you the table again. And the ending is E. So the sentence reads Ich liebe weiße Schokolade. Let's try this one. I dream about white chocolate. In German to dream about means träumen von. 
And as you learned in my previous lessons, after the preposition von follows in German the dative case. This means that this time the white chocolate is in the dative case in German and I is in the nominative case because it's the subject of the sentence. So the sentence would start like this. Ich träume von weiß Schokolade. Now do you know where to look for the ending for weiß? I show you the table. Schokolade is feminine and it's in the dative case. So, this one is the ending and the sentence reads Ich träume von weißer Schokolade. Alright, so next one. The taste of white chocolate is fantastic. In which case is white chocolate now? Well, white chocolate is in this sentence the possessor, so to speak. Because white chocolate possesses the taste. The taste belongs to the white chocolate, so white chocolate is the possessor of the taste, alright? So the taste is the subject of the sentence, so it's an nominative case. And white chocolate is in this sentence in the genitive case. Now taste means Geschmack in German and is masculine. So you should know by now how to start the sentence. Like this. You choose the definite article der for masculine nouns in the nominative case. And the sentence starts like this. Der Geschmack weiß Schokolade ist fantastisch. And now that you already know which gender Schokolade has, you should be able to tell the ending for this adjective in this sentence. Here again is the table. So where do you have to look for the ending? Here. And the sentence reads, Der Geschmack weißer Schokolade ist fantastisch. How about this one? Grilled chicken is tasty. Grilled means gegrillt in German and chicken means Hähnchen in German and its gender is neuter. So how would you translate it? First of all, grilled chicken is the subject of the sentence, so it's in the nominative case. I told you which gender it has. So the sentence starts like this. Gegrillt Hähnchen ist lecker. Now do you remember where to look for the ending? Here's the table again. And Hähnchen is neuter. So, this one here is the ending. And the sentence reads, Gegrilltes Hähnchen ist lecker. So let's try this one. She likes clear water. Which one is the subject of the sentence? She is the subject of the sentence, so she is in the nominative case. And clear water is in the accusative case because in German after the verb like always follows the accusative case. Now in German clear means klar. And water means Wasser and it's neuter. So how would you translate the sentence? Like this. Sie mag klar Wasser. And where would you look for the ending for klar? I give you some time. Here. So the complete sentence reads, Sie mag klares Wasser. How about this one? We like fast cars. We is the subject of the sentence, so it's in the nominative case. Fast cars is in the accusative case. And fast means schnell in German. And cars is in the plural. Car means auto in German. And cars means autos in German. 
So how would you start to translate the sentence? It should start like this. Wir mögen schnell Autos. Alright? Now where would you look for the ending of schnell? Here's the table again. Here. So the complete sentence reads Wir mögen schnelle Autos. Let's try this one. He dreams about hot coffee. Hot means in German heiß and coffee means Kaffee and is masculine. And as I told you before, to dream about means in German träumen von and after the preposition von follows in German the dative case. So hot coffee is in the dative case and he is in the nominative case because he is the subject of the sentence, alright? So how would you start to translate the sentence now? It should start correctly like this. Er träumt von heiß Kaffee. Now remember Kaffee is masculine. So where would you look for the ending for heiß? This is the ending and the correct sentence reads Er träumt von heißem Kaffee. So here's the last sentence. He likes the taste of hot coffee. In which case is hot coffee now? It's now in the genitive case, because hot coffee is so to speak the possessor of the taste, because it's the taste of hot coffee, right? And he is the subject of the sentence, so he's in the nominative case. The taste is in the accusative case, because it follows after the verb like. And as I said before, hot coffee in this case is in the genitive case. So how would you start to translate the sentence? Here's how it should look like. Er mag den Geschmack heiß Kaffees. And Kaffees gets an additional S because in the genitive case masculine and neuter nouns always get an additional S. So do you know where you should look like for the ending of heiß? Here's the table again. Coffee is masculine. So this is the ending that we are looking for. And the complete sentence reads Er mag den Geschmack heißen Kaffees. I hope this video was helpful for you. And see you in the next video. Bye.